Do you like to eat seafood? Then this video is for you. Depending on the type of fish you pick, it may either be a power meal or inflammatory poisonous nightmare for your body. That's the reason it's crucial to recognize and stay away from seafood that you should never eat. The quality of fish on our plates has decreased as a result of the rising demand for seafood. The seafood industry is facing challenges in ensuing transparency and sustainability. Less than 25% of businesses try to get all their seafood from sources that are not harmful to the environment. Certain fish may be harmful if consumed in excess because they contain high levels of mercury in this video. We will discuss 7 kinds of seafood that you should avoid. But before we begin, please hit that like button and subscribe to ensure that you never miss out on any of our videos. Number 7. Imported Shrimp Eating shrimp might be tasty, but there's a story behind it you might not know. The shrimp farming industry has rapidly expanded in response to growing consumer demand. To comply with these demands that are being cultivated on farms, shrimps raised in farms face a production process heavily reliant on antibiotics, disinfectants, and pesticides. Consequently, these practices can result in the presence of antibiotic residues in the shrimp, including some that are banned in the United States. This can lead to various health problems including neurological damage, allergies, and other infections and illnesses. Furthermore, the conditions in which the shrimp are formed can lead the shrimp being infected with diseases and parasites, further compromising their safety for consumption. Additionally, the use of preservatives in some imported shrimp has been linked to health issues such as breast cancer and low sperm counts. Imported shrimp also contribute to the compromise in quality and freshness. Fluctuating temperatures, suboptimal storage conditions, and prolonged exposure to air and light during transit can lead to a loss of freshness. Ensuring consistent quality control measures throughout the transportation is challenging, increasing the risk of mishandling and damage. Alternatively, seek out pink shrimp from Oregon or domestic shrimp from the Gulf of Mexico. Seek to find shrimp that were cultivated without the use of pesticides or antibiotics. You want them from waste and water filtering tanks or from sizable outdoor ponds that mimic their native habitat. When purchasing raw shrimp, make sure their texture is firm. Transparent, grayish green, pinkish tan or light pink shells are the ideal colors. Stay away from those with edges that have darkened or stained. Shrimp that has been cooked should be white, firm, and slightly pink or red. Instead of smelling fishy or ammonia-like, both should have a little saltiness to them. Selecting shrimp items that promote ethical farming can help you take sustainable practices into account. Make thoughtful purchasing decisions by looking into and selecting shrimp that fit your sustainability and health goals. Laws and certifications play a significant role in ensuring that safety and quality of shrimp products. Not just imported shrimps should be avoided, every seafood that we eat that is imported should be avoided. Concerns arise with imported seafood since a significant portion of what we eat is bought in from other countries, and about half of the time it comes from farms. This means that those who enjoy imported seafood are relying on the safety measures of the exporting country sometimes even beyond that in the supply chain. Number 6. Tilapia Tilapia is a highly popular fish to eat since it is inexpensive and widely accessible. In addition to being inexpensive, many eat it because they believe it to be a great source. Surprisingly, eating tilapia may be worse than eating bacon in some ways. According to a 2008 research published in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association, Wake Forest University School of Medicine researchers found that tilapia, a popular fish in America, has an unsettling nutritional profile. Tilapia contains notably lower amounts of crucial omega-3 fatty acids compared to the other fish renowned for their abundance of these beneficial nutrients. What amplifies concern is its elevated content of inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids, potentially contributing to the development of an inflammatory diet. While it is a source of protein, the imbalanced nutritional profile of tilapia raises apprehensions about its overall impact on health, suggesting that relying solely on its protein content may not compensate for other dietary shortcomings. On the other hand, excess omega-6 fatty acid consumption, particularly when combined with insufficient omega-3 fatty acid intake, may worsen inflammation, which is a major risk factor for cardiovascular illnesses. Tilapia farming usually means having a lot of fish all crammed into small spaces, which can lead to some problems. First off, 
When there are so many fish close together, it's like a party for diseases. The tight conditions make it easy for illnesses to spread, and that's not good for the fish. To tackle this, farmers often use antibiotics to keep diseases under control. However, using antibiotics a lot isn't great for the environment. It can lead to issues like pollution and harm water quality. Imagine a big party in a small room. It gets messy, right? Well, in a similar way, intensive tilapia farming practices can mess up the environment. When searching for healthier options, take into account the overall health advantages of salmon and make sure that it is not farmed. It is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, high-quality protein, vitamin D, and B vitamins. Enjoy the flavorful and heart-healthy mackerel, the little but formidable sardines, powerful nutritional punch, and the heart-healthy trout for a varied palate. If you must eat this fish, stay away from Chinese tilapia because of this particularly questionable growing methods. Opting for wild-caught fish not only ensures a more favorable omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, thanks to their diverse diets, but also reflects an environmentally conscious choice. Wild-caught choices are excellent because they combine good nutrition with environmental sustainability. Also, try to grill or bake your fish to keep it nutritious. Skip deep frying to avoid unhealthy additions to your meal as it is. Number five, king mackerel. While mackerel is undoubtedly a great source of healthful omega-3 fatty acids, low in fat, and a good source of protein, riboflavin, nicotine, vitamin B12, and psyllidium, some varieties may have higher levels than expected. While king mackerel is a source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for health and the heart, its high mercury content may counterbalance the potential cardiovascular benefits. That's undoubtedly the case with king mackerel. As the FDA expressly advises against its consumption for women and children, king mackerel is extensively consumed and valued in regions like the Atlantic North Sea and Asia, notably in countries such as Norway, the United Kingdom, Japan, South Korea, and China. Its popularity extends to North and South America with significant fisheries in Peru and Chile. Consuming king mackerel poses a risk which is because of the high mercury levels. Mercury is a neurotoxin that can accumulate in fish, potentially leading to health issues, especially in vulnerable populations. King mackerel is a large predatory fish that tends to accumulate higher levels of mercury and regular consumption may contribute to neurological problems, particularly in pregnant women and young children. King mackerel can accumulate not only mercury, but also an array of other containments found in the marine environment. These containments encompass pollutants such as PCBs and dioxins. PCBs are synthetic chemicals that are widely used in various industrial applications, and dioxins are environmental pollutants resulting from combustion processes. Due to their persistent nature, these containments can enter aquatic ecosystems, where they become absorbed by fish like king mackerel. As a result, consuming king mackerel may introduce a range of environmental pollutants into the human diet. Mercury exposure can lead to a developmental problems in the brain, affecting physical functions such as motor skills. Pregnant women and women who may become pregnant are devised to avoid consuming king mackerel. The metal can make its way into soil and water, eventually accumulating in fish like king mackerel. The concentration of mercury in fish and seafood can be 1 to 10 million times that of the surrounding water. Individuals with compromised immune systems, kidney disorders, or pre-existing health conditions should exercise caution when considering king mackerel. Additionally, there is a specific risk associated with king mackerel consumption related to Ciguatera poisoning. This happens when these fishes eat algae that produce toxins. When people consume king mackerel, these toxins can cause symptoms like nausea, vomiting, and unusual neurological effects. Number 4. Tuna Tuna is an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids which are beneficial for heart, eye, and brain health. Omega-3s are essential dietary fats that have been associated with reduced rates of cardiovascular disease, including heart attacks. Tuna is also a good source of vitamin B12, which is essential for making DNA and forming new red blood cells. Additionally, it is a good source of protein, vitamin D, and selenium, which are important for overall health. But wait, there's a twist in the story. There are several varieties of tuna, including longtail, blackfin, and yellowfin. Certain tuna, such as the skipjack found in light canned tuna, are safe to consume and sustainable. On the other hand, 
Hazardous mercury levels or population declines make some tuna unsafe to eat. Even though Atlantic bluefin tuna is a desired ingredient for sushi, it's ideal to turn down this well-liked fish. Due to industrial pollution, hazardous mercury builds up in the flesh of tuna fish. Mercury poisoning can cause coordination issues, cognitive decline, and finger curling. A front-page Wall Street Journal story on a California youngster who ate canned tuna went from being an honor student and star athlete to being unable to focus or catch a football. Tuna consumption is bad for your heart because tuna eats polluted fish. It has a concentration of heavy metals. Any potential health advantages of omega-3 fatty acids are outweighed by the toxicity of tuna meat. Fresh tuna is often served raw or rare, however canned tuna is cooked during manufacturing, so it's bad. Number 3. Orange Ruffy Orange Ruffy, because of their mucus slick heads, were once known as slime heads, but for many years, fishermen mostly ignored them. Until the 1970s, when scientists began studying these deep sea inhabitants and giving them local names, they were mostly unknown to the general public. What makes this fish truly fascinating is its almost magical skill to live up to 150 years, which is remarkable but concerning characteristic when it comes to their sustainability for healthy diet. Due to their long lifespan, these fish have been exposed to unhealthy elements like mercury for an extended period. As a result, they tend to accumulate high levels of mercury, making them a less than ideal option for consumption. The accumulation of mercury in their bodies over such a long time makes them a potential risk to human health. Orange Ruffy is not the best choice for a healthy diet due to several reasons, including its low nutritional content. While it is low in fat and calories, it has small amounts of essential nutrients such as folate, potassium, and other beneficial compounds. However, it is relatively low in their important nutrients compared to other fish. Number 2. Shark Are these fish safe? For your plate? Many big sharks have too much mercury in their meat, a harmful chemical that builds up as you go up to the food chain. It starts with plants absorbing a bit of toxin, then small fish eating lots of plants, giving them medium toxin level. Finally, big predators like swordfish and sharks eat those little fish, collecting even more toxins. This process is called biomagnification. So it's not smart to eat big predators, as you end up with all that toxin mercury in you. High mercury levels in sharks attributed to their diet of smaller fish may lead to coordination loss, blindness, and even death. Stick to smaller or medium-sized fish. Some sharks, like black tip sharks, are smaller and safer. Shark meat is known for containing elevated levels of urea, a compound naturally secreted from the shark's skin. Upon the shark's demise, urea breaks down into substantial amounts of ammonia, resulting in a pronounce ammonia taste and odor in the meat. To counteract this, unprocessed shark meat is frequently soaked in milk. However, this practice poses potential health risks as it may lead to the retention of high levels of ammonia in the meat. The strong smell and taste of ammonia in the shark meat are undesirable, and the efforts are to mask it through soaking it in milk and may introduce concerns related to the meat's safety and overall quality. Some fish carry a harmful toxin called ciguatoxin. Originating from certain algae, large predatory fish like sharks can accumulate high levels of this toxin by eating contaminated prey. When humans consume such fish, they risk Sugatera fish poisoning. Symptoms include gastrointestinal issues, tingling sensations, and even heart problems. Number 1. Eel Eels are experiencing a creative rebirth in restaurants, breaking conventional beliefs despite their reputation as a bottom-feeding meal and snake-like look, which frequently makes them an unpopular dish. Even though eel is usually eaten cooked, some may wonder if consuming it raw poses a risk. There are more than 800 kinds of eels, including freshwater and marine species like the conger eel. They are a delicacy that tastes like squid but have a softer, flakier texture. Common in Japanese cuisine, it is torched on sushi rice or grilled over steamed rice. Eels, in their remarkable adaptation to survive in the wild, possesses defense mechanisms that include a rather unusual and potentially hazardous characteristic that's poisonous blood. The poison in eel blood contains a toxic protein that has the capability to induce muscle cramping, affecting vital organs such as the heart. Eels, like the majority of fish and seafood, are also known to contain high quantities of mercury, which can be harmful to your neurological system in large doses. 
Another consideration is the potential presence of parasites in eel meat. Consumption of raw or undercooked eel increases the risk of ingesting these parasites. Eels tend to easily absorb and retain dangerous substances and impurities, including flame retardants and polychlorinated biphenyls. In certain places, such as New Jersey, river eels are so filthy that adults are recommended to consume no more than one eel per year. To mitigate this risk, it is crucial to ensure that the eel is thoroughly cooked before consumption. In the US, seafood is the leading source of food poisoning. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimate that there are around 75 million foodborne disease cases annually, resulting in thousands of fatalities as well as hundreds of thousands of hospital admissions. Consuming fish that has been improperly prepared or that has not been obtained from reliable sources can be quite risky. Regretfully, we are frequently at the mercy of the exporting nation's safety protocols because the majority of the seafood we eat is imported. It is vital to exercise caution and expertise when making decisions when submerged. Thank you so much for watching.